P, when this episode drop, you will be playing in Indiana. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. we all know you used to play there. Mm -hmm. And you done been there, what, plenty of times playing them again. You know what I'm saying? Last season, this season, whatever. But I want to know. How do you think they're going to give you the love when you get out there? From history, you got to expect the worst, right? Like, I've been booed. This is what, going on seven years now since I've been there. Mm -hmm. um, I've been booed every time going there for seven years uh, straight. And so I'm expecting the worst. But I don't know. I, don't, I, I feel like there's a, a part of Indy that's kind of hashed it based off of the re relationship built with Tyrese. So like you've forgotten. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Like I said, it, it won't surprise me if I'm booed the eighth time there again, or the you seventh time, I should you, say. You think you might get uh some co some coach love or something? Like like when I went to your game when you played San Antonio, everybody was booing Kawhi. And they were like, boo, every second. And Pop got on the mic and was like, hey, be respectful, y'all, blah, blah, blah. You're going to do this over here. He's okay. Hey, you yeah. got a championship for us. Yeah, you was there. I forgot. I you was there. Yeah, you was there. Yeah. You was there. That was, that, uh, Indy won't do that. Let's be. They not going to do you like that? Indy won't do it. Unless Larry Bird himself comes down and like grabs the mic. Yeah, Indy. The coaching staff's going to be like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Indy, Indy's not doing that. Let's, let's be a hundred there. Um, but that moment was, it was dope. Like it was dope, I think, in the sense of like, Pop just finally like, all right, we had enough. Like, let that shit go. He's won here, he's a champion. Like he's put a, a banner up there. He's, he's done great for here. Like regardless of how the situation played out, he, let's, let's embrace the man that, you know, won us championships, right? Being a fan there, I was really like annoyed with it. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah. saying? Because I was sitting next to It was real, every time. Like, I, was, I was sitting yeah. next to Spurs fans and asking them, like, why why they doing that? He got y'all a championship. Yeah. So I was like, we don't give a fuck. <laughs> left us. I'm like, damn. Because at, <laughs> like, at that point, like, they're booing more than they're cheering. Like, you're booing more than cheering for your team. Like, you're... It was just, it's just like, bro, like, let that shit go. Like, it's old now. Like, he played for that team in how many years? Yeah. yeah like, come I, I'm, on. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the other side. Like, I think it's completely okay for you the fans. You think it's all right? Yes. I mean, they're fans. They, they fans pay their money? Get, you know, with, you know, obviously some fans get out of control. Russ has talked about it. Like, maybe there should be, like, they can't have X amount of drinks at the game. That's too much. Yeah. But booing and cheering is like your most basic form of like fan expression. So I get booing, what does it matter, bro? I get booing an opposing player that like in the situation where like Pat Bev goes to Oklahoma, like they're gonna boo the shit out of him for his history <laughs> of hurting Russ in, in yeah. that moment, right? Like I get that, like you're gonna right, boo, right. boo an opponent that like- But a championship But like person? someone that, like one of yours, like I don't get that. Like you're booing one of yours. But he's not one of yours anymore. Is this better? Is he's this one of, a fan. He's I, one of yours. He I, won a championship for you guys. Of like, course. He's, he's of one course. of ours. Like, of course. It didn't end well, but like that's that's life. People go on, yeah, so people take different so jobs. Like, Dallas. Uh, all right, we'll see if, we'll see. That's like, I don't want, actually that's a bad example. But oh, like, that's like, let's say you're in a relationship. Like, are you not like, so you're just talk. you typically, most people talk bad about like, their formal relationships rather than good. Some people talk good, but again, in the realm of sports, the fans have to be able to express they're cheering for their team. They're feeling like they're a part that. of it. They're there's, trying there's to get in Kawhi's head. They want to distract them during the game. And who knows, maybe Pop even distracted him because that was could have been even more of a distraction, it, like mean, stopping the game. It, it, the shit was crazy because, so I, I get checked out, like, right? I'm getting subbed out. So I'm walking to the bench and I hear like, this distinct voice like over the mic, but I'm thinking it's coming from the, the Jumbotron. So I look up like, all right, there's nothing up there. Then I'm thinking like, you know, there's, it's like the, someone talking on a speaker, like there's a fight breaking out or something. Like they're trying to calm or deescalate the situation. So I'm like looking in the crowd now, like, all right, ain't shit going on. Then I just so happen to turn around and I see pop at the, the, the <laughs> scores table. And he's got the mic, so I'm like, <laughs> yeah, he did. Like, he just he grabbed like, it too. He checked sure it and everything. It was mad. Oh, All right, I'm let, I'm, cause we in story, mom. I'm gonna let you have that one. Um, <laughs> what that in here? He said he just grabbed it too. <laughs> we in story mode, so I'm gonna let you have that one, Buggy. But then yeah, so he, so he's like talking, 
And then he's like, yo, yo, like, that's not who we are. Like, we, like, that, that's, that, that, come on, San Antonio, we're better than this, basically. And then after that, the booze went crazier. Like, they were booing them before, but yeah. then after that, the booze went crazier. Like, they was booing everybody. Like, whoever caught it, they didn't give a fuck. Like, they, they were just booing people. <laughs> um, so I was like, damn, like, hey, what, like that, now that's wrong. You don't disrespect <laughs> pop. I, I thought that was that very one. disrespectful yeah, yeah, yeah. To, for them to. That's that he's still there. You shouldn't be. And they still was yeah. booing after he said what they he said. Pop. Like yep. right after that, they booed he him. dropped the mic. Boo! Hey, yep. You know, in college, I actually got booed at a home game. How did you like that? Well, it was due to the fact that I, I said some unkind words about one of the cheerleaders, and the football guys came to the game. And uh -huh. when I checked in at a home game, bro, uh -huh. they were booing me. <laughs> you got booed before? Have I got booed yeah, before? You ever got booed before? Not yeah, on, yeah. on the road, yeah. But like, there's on also. The road? Yeah. Uh, yeah, when okay. I go to Indy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, like. You that's... know, you want to know a funny story? And one of like the worst, like, it, it made me like, after that moment, I was like nervous going to to roll games okay. so me like so it, it was in college right so we took like you know you had, you just got your fresh macbook you take hella pictures on your macbook right you're doing all the little filters and shit uh oh and then i posted it on my uh facebook okay <laughs> and so we're gonna go play we went to louisiana tech never never forget this so me and my teammate mike Ladd, like we both like just took pictures and like it wasn't like like weird shit but it was just like all right you could tell they just got a macbook like they're happy about their macbook <laughs> okay <laughs> so we go we going down to, to louisiana tech bro and like it's a normal game they didn't they didn't pull the shit up until literally tip off they got like they fucking photo on big ass like uh big ass posters like pictures that we had just took and they're just like <laughs> waving them in the crowd bro Oh, that was like was it my the bathroom selfie one or was it? Yeah, like, it was like thing? bathroom <laughs> selfie shit. Like you know, you trying to like you trying to like you know, know light know, skin know. look with right. some of the pictures. Well, I get what you're saying, bro. That was the most <laughs> embarrassed booed. I was for a game. Like I was fucked up that game. <laughs> like, I got booed before, huh? I got booed. Before. You got booed before? At Staples Center at the time for what? Dealing with Ray J. Ah, uh, Ray J had to perform. <laughs> So you caught a stray. <laughs> and he tried, he was performing wait a minute at the time. And it was like I was his dancer. <laughs> so I went out oh, there gosh. one dance inappropriate and it made him look stupid. They, was, <laughs> they literally booed us the whole time. It was like, y'all need to wait a minute and get y'all ass up. Yeah. Is there video of this? I think it might be. It was a while ago. Look up yeah, Ray look. J performing at the Staples Center. We literally got booed. I'll never forget it in my life. They so, try to blame it on me. So Ray J's performing at Staples Center. Yeah, he and had you're me, on the stage dancing. Me, no, 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 listen. Me his home, me and his homeboy Shorty Mac. We was out there, you know, like to just be the hype man, yeah. basically. On so stage. you're on the stage with no, him? No, we, we're on the on the court. We we all on the court with him. Like he's out there at halftime. Okay, oh, so they, okay. it's not like a performance. This is like a halftime. Halftime, half halftime. Okay. Half okay. Lakers performance. or Clippers? Uh, I don't know what team they was. It was the Lakers for sure, but okay. I don't know what team they were. Yeah, Lakers. I thought okay. you were gonna ask me <laughs> Lakers or Clippers, but yeah. Lakers and literally we went out there and had the worst time of our life. I thought Ray J career was done after that. I was like, wow, we really got booed in front of all these people and we from LA. Right. <laughs> I was like, so this ain't was out right. There, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, they was, yeah, we need to wait a minute too. And then, and then they just booed. And, and they booed Did us. Ray J get mad at you guys? Listen, the court. Ray J would tell y'all this story today is no lie. We literally got booed. I will never in my life <laughs> ever forget it. That's funny. And I do blame myself. It was me. I was out there looking stupid. That's funny. I had, I think, some dumb ass clothes on, <laughs> just out there, wait up, man. It, I didn't know the words to the song. They was just like, get these dumb ass booze up out of here. But yeah, that's that's So we all can relate. Story. That's God. very relatable. Yeah, we've been booed. That's very relatable. We've been booed. We've bo we been booed up. <laughs> okay. We all been booed up. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> and man, we we need we need some more of that shit, dog. We oh, we need you. some more stories. I know you got stories for days. Oh, you know, I'm gonna be honest too. You gonna be time. honest, and you you 50, so you I know you got some stories. I, I I'm 42, Pete. Don't do oh, that. Oh yet. my bad. You my know, bad. don't do that too. There's my people bad. looking, watching. My bad. Um, anyway, please. <laughs> I want to know has your like speaking of all this born and all this stuff. Still, has your perspective changed since the time you used to be in Indiana to you going back now, like how, like in many ways, like foundational pieces of your life and career bloomed in Indy. Yeah, I mean, I've I've matured from the situation. Um, 
you asked me this five, six years ago, no, like, hell no. I was in a, a totally different place of just fuck Indiana. Like, I don't, don't want no parts of Indiana. Um, I was just in a, a, a different mindset. Um, but now, like, I've, I've matured. You know, I've matured. I've, I, I understand business. I understand what was the right move for me, what made sense for me. Um, I understand that, understand that situation, what made sense for them, where, where they're at as an organization. But I mean, there was, you know, I was more so like, you know, I, I felt like I gave everything I had that seven years there. Um, you know, I, 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 you know, saw myself as embodying, you know, what hard work, what, um, blue collar, what, you know, just that working hard mentality was, I felt like I was you know, embodying that, what Indiana was about. Um, and so, yeah, I was, I was a little bittersweet when, when I left. Um, but looking back at it now, like, you know, they're blossoming, they're in great hands, they're doing they great. Definitely great. I always look at it because it's the team that first picked you. you yeah. Know? And so I, I, you like, know, I know you got always some. Yeah. I there's love assume, there. You know, there's love. for sure love there. Like there's for sure love there. There's still people there like that I talk to uh, from time to time that still work for the organization, um, there's 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 still love there. You know that that, that won't change. Um, you know there's restaurants I still love to go to there. There's you know places you know there that I still love. The people you know for the most part have been great. Midwestern people like there's there's they're just different. You know I'm sure you can uh ch- 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 <laughs> chime in on that. I'm sure you can give you know your opinion on you know the Midwest you know that love there. But yeah, there, there, there's a special place in my heart in Indiana. Look, the NFL season is here, and Prize Picks has got you covered when it comes to helping you make some money. Prize Picks is a daily fantasy app where you can select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and turn twenty five dollars into 250. Price picks is simple to play. I can make my picks and submit every entry in less than 60 seconds. Hey, I'm telling y'all now, y'all better be sure to visit prizepicks.com slash podcast P and use code podcast P for a first deposit match up to $100. And y'all know what time it is. Cha-ching! <laughs> 